Hi everybody, it's Tom from the Fice Fit Squad. We're gonna do our home workout today, so I hope you're ready to go. We're gonna start off on a nice little warm up, just to get the blood flowing around the body and get our muscles nice and loose. Grab a family member and get them involved. So we're gonna start off with our lower body just by jogging on the spot. Nice and light in the toes, just get your arms moving, just to get some mobility going through your shoulder. This is gonna be our first one in the warm up. We're just gonna go for another five seconds. Nice and light in the toes, head up to keep your posture going. Okay, we're gonna shake the legs out. Very simply, we're gonna move into a squat. So we're gonna go shoulder width stance, heels on the floor, head up, we're pulling those hips down and straight back up. So down and up, okay? I'm just gonna turn side on to show you. Now, if you can't get all the way down, just bring it to a little quarter squat, okay? So if that's a little bit easier for you, just bring it to a quarter squat. Two more, head up. One more, good, shake it out, nice and simple. We're gonna get the upper body movement, so I'm just gonna do some shoulder shrugs, just get my shoulders up towards my ears, and I'm gonna roll them back, just nice and loose. Then we're gonna bring it in a bit more movement to the upper body. We're gonna roll our arms forward, just to get some blood flowing through our arms, to get our chest, our shoulders, and our back moving. Another five seconds, keep your head up, just to get some movement on that upper body. Brilliant guys, well done in your warm up. So we're nice and loose and our body's ready to go into this workout. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna work for six minutes and we're gonna do six exercises. 30 seconds worth of work and then 30 seconds of a break so you rest and recover before you get into the next exercise. Our first exercise is gonna work our legs. It's called a squat 180 jump. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go into our squat, shoulder width stance, head up, hips down and we're jumping into a 180. So we're gonna get that timer started in three, two, one, let's go. So down into that squat, head up, we're jumping and jumping, 180, okay? Down nice and low and jumping. If it's too much for you, you can sit into your squat, step and turn and sit back down into your squat. But if you can add that hop and jump to get that 180 in, awesome. So down nice and low, jump up. Jump up. How many can you do in the 30 seconds? We're not gonna stop. Last five seconds. Head and chest up, keep going. Last one, and time. That's a toughie on the leg. Great work for that 30 seconds. Catch your breath now. Recover and rest before we move into our next movement. So, we're gonna go down to the floor for this one, onto the mat. Just find the space. Very good in our sit-up position. These are gonna be toe taps. So I'm gonna go flat on my back, I'm gonna raise my feet, I'm gonna cross them, hands up, and I'm gonna reach up to touch my toes. Okay, three, two, one, let's give it a shot. Up, back down, reach up, back down. We're pulling our shoulders off the mat, squeezing our stomach muscles to reach up towards those feet. How many can you do? Keep it going. This is gonna burn your core. Those stomach muscles, keep going. Exhale as you come up, really work them. Last 10. You got this. Keep the feet up nice and high. Last couple. And one more. Oh, and time. The good thing about those sit-ups is you can catch your breath on the floor after. So make sure you get your water on board and stay hydrated throughout. As you can tell, I'm out of breath. They're tough exercises, but just do what you can. Because you're doing awesome. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do some upper body work. This is called a bear crawl hold. So we're in our bear crawl position. So we're on our feet, hands are shoulder width apart, head up. All we're gonna do is bring our knees off the floor. So if we're holding that position. Three, two, one, let's go. Bear crawl, hold. So we're frozen in time, okay? Now, I have a nice straight back. I wanna make sure I don't round it down or round it up. And if it gets too difficult, drop your knees, catch your breath, and then we go straight back into it. So head up, back straight. We're gonna hold that bear crawl. We're frozen in time, okay? Nearly there. Your muscles, legs, arms will be shaking. Five seconds, head up, breathe. Three, two, and one, and time. It's worth it, drop your knees down. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Good job, okay? That's a tough one. It looks easy, but it's tough. So, we're gonna go back on our feet just to change it up. Shake it out, okay? Loosen all those muscles out because you're working hard. We have 10 seconds before we go into our fourth exercise. This one is a jump jack fly. This time, I'm gonna bend the elbows by the side and bring my arms up. 
three, two, one. So it's like our jump jack or star jump as some people call them. But you're gonna bend your elbows. So side on, head up. My elbows are going to my shoulders. This is working my arms and shoulders a little bit more. My feet are going hip width apart, in and out. Keep them going as I transition to front view. 10 seconds, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Five seconds, keep going, put a smile on your face. And time, 30 seconds. You'll feel that on your shoulders and arm, keeping those muscles nice and tight as you raise them up. We're gonna stay on our feet. We're gonna shake it out, okay? Because we're gonna do some boxing now in the space we have. So, starting position. I'm gonna bring my left foot forward. My hands are gonna be up and I'm gonna go straight, straight, hook, hook. Okay, so we have four punches for 30 seconds. So, straight, straight, hook, hook. We're gonna repeat that. Three, two, one, let's go. Straight, straight, hook, hook. I'm gonna give you a front view of that. Straight, straight, hook, hook. Let's see if we can pick up the pace, okay? Straight, straight, hook, hook. Really twist hips into those hooks, working those core muscles. Last 15 seconds, you're halfway. It's a toughie, but it's worth it. Keep going. One, one, hook, hook. Straight, straight, hook, hook. You're nearly there. Last two, and time. Whew. Upper body is warming up now. Now you can feel it. Great work. I'm gonna grab some water. Make sure you're staying hydrated and I recommend you grab some too, okay? Because we need to stay hydrated through all of these workouts. So here we go. Sixth and final exercise. This one's called a scissor kick. I'm gonna go down onto the mat. I'm gonna be working my core muscles. This time I'm gonna go flat into the mat. Hands are gonna be underneath my bum. And this time I'm doing a single leg raise scissor kick, okay? Three, two, one. Let's go. So feet are up in the air and I'm alternating them. Slight bend in the knee, feeling the burn on my stomach muscles. It's a good one. I can definitely feel them. Come on, it's our last one. Keep working, feet up. Don't drop the heels. Five, four, three, two, and one. Yeah, that was me wincing. That was a tough feet on your core. Now we recover. Recovery is as important as doing the exercises. So catch your breath if you're out of breath. Grab some water, take your time. Recover is crucial. Guys, that was awesome work. You guys rocked, hope you enjoyed it. Hey everybody, welcome back. I really hope you enjoyed your break. So we're gonna go same again. We're gonna work for six minutes, six exercises, 30 seconds worth of work on the exercises, and then you get 30 seconds break and recovery. Let's do this. Our first exercise is called a kangaroo hop. So what we're gonna do is just with a little bit of space, feet are gonna be just underneath our shoulders. We're sitting down and we're hopping. Sit down and hop side to side. We're gonna start the clock for 30 seconds in three, two, one. Let's give me your best effort, okay? So we're hopping side to side. Knees are nice and soft as we land, okay? So just changing side to side. Use those arms to give you some momentum to jump across, okay? Last 15 seconds. Let's get a little bit quicker, like a kangaroo, as fast as you can. As you can tell, I'm getting a little bit out of breath as I push for five, four, 
Keep going. Don't stop. Two and one. Whew. That's a good one to get us going. Get the heart rate up. Get us working and get a little bit of a sweat on. So we're going to move in to our second movement. This is going to work our upper body. Some of you might know it. Known as a press up or a push up, okay? So we're going to go on to our front and I'm going to show you two versions. Hands are going to be shoulder width apart. My head is up. I'm going to be on my knees for this one. Hips are going to go forward, chest to the floor, and I'm going to press. So we're going to go for 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. Chest to the floor, press. Chest to the floor, press. We just need to make sure that our head doesn't go forward and we keep our head up. Bend those elbows, press back up. If we want to make it a little bit more challenging, we can go onto our feet, head up, chest to the floor, press back up. Okay, last 10 seconds. I'm gonna go back to my knees. Here we go. Chest to floor, press. Chest to floor, press. Last one, and squeeze. You should feel that in your arms, your chest, and your back. Really good upper body work out there. Okay, we're jumping back up onto our feet. We still have 20 seconds to recover. This is what we do. Take a breath, catch your breath, and get ready to go. We have 10 seconds. Guys, so we're gonna move on to our third exercise. This is what I like to call a skier, okay? So we're gonna turn side on for this. So we're gonna be working for 30 seconds on this. We're gonna be open, hands and hips up, out in front. So we're gonna have three, two, one. We're alternating our feet and hands. So we're working our over all body. We can slow down the tempo, reaching those arms up. So we're still working our chest, our shoulders, and our back muscles. And if we wanna pick up that pace, for the last 15 seconds, get it nice and sweaty, nice and hard. Fast as you can, fast, fast, fast. Push those arms up, alternate those legs. Three, two, one, and time. Shake it out. Really good work there. So we're gonna go back down onto the floor for our fourth exercise. This is a sit-up version of a leg hold, okay? And this is gonna be working our stomach muscles, all our muscles in the center of our body. So. Onto the floor, flat on your back. Hands are gonna go underneath your hips or bum. Legs extended and we're gonna keep them off the floor. Catch your breath for a moment while we recover. We have five seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one. We're holding our feet off the floor. If it gets too difficult, bring your knees in, recover, catch your breath and then extend those legs back out, okay? If you fall out of it, that's okay. We go back in when we can. Nice and flat on the floor, point the toes. You can keep your head on the mat if you want. Extend them, I can feel my core shaking, so it's working. Catch your breath, breathe. And time, 30 seconds holds, quite tough. Really good for those stomach muscles, making them nice and strong. So I'm gonna go back up onto my feet. I like to call this one a crisscross jumping jack. Some of you might know this is a star jump. I call it a jumping jack. So what we're gonna do on our feet, okay? My hands are gonna be opening up and alternating as I open. So I'm crisscrossing my hands as I do my jump jack. So we're gonna go in three, two, one, hands out in front as I alternate in my crisscross jump jack. So we're opening up our hips and feet, getting our heart working around. Good, keep going. It's making me out of breath already. Hands out in front, we're stretching those arms forward. Don't worry if you lose your rhythm, you just go back in. Keep crisscrossing the hands. You're opening up your chest and back, working those upper body muscles while working your legs. Time, whew, really good one to get a really good sweat on. Excellent effort. I'm gonna get some water now and I recommend you guys rehydrate anytime for any of these exercises, okay? So we need to keep our water on board and stay hydrated. I hope we're having fun. So we're moving on to our sixth exercise. This one now, as you can tell, I'm a little bit out of breath, they're quite challenging. It's called an explode. It's gonna be working our legs and lower body. My two hands are gonna to go to the floor, head up, and I'm exploding out. We're going in three, in two, in one, Let's do this, okay? So down, two hands to the floor, head up and explode. If you want, you can add that heel click. If not, just touch the floor, keep your head up so you've nice straight back, and we're gonna explode out of that. 
jump up, use that power in your legs, okay? Couple more with a heel click, back down, head and chest up. Last couple, two more, and one more, and time. Whew. Give yourselves a high five. That was awesome work by everybody. Hope you enjoyed that. Great work. Well done in your workout. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cool our body down, our muscles, which have been working hard. So we're gonna start off with our lower half. Very simple, we're just gonna put our hands on our hips and we're gonna do some hula hoops. So make sure you have a shoulder width stance, keep your head up and you're just gonna loosen out your hips and good for your glutes as well. Change direction and go a couple the other side just to loosen out that lower body. From here, we're gonna hinge forward. So staying with the shoulder width stance, keeping my head up, my arms are out in front. I'm gonna hinge forward just to stretch out the back of my legs. Try and reach down towards those toes, okay? Hinging forward, you're gonna feel the stretch on the back of the legs. Couple more, keep the head up, and one more to finish off. Brilliant. We're gonna go down to the ground now just to go on our hamstrings and our calf muscles. So sitting on the floor, you're gonna extend one leg out, opposite's gonna be on the inside. What we're gonna do is reach down towards that toe, and see if we can pull down towards our knee, okay? This is gonna stretch out your hamstrings and your calf muscles that we've been working so hard. After that, we're gonna change it over to the opposite side, leg on the inside, reach down towards that toe, stretch down for a few seconds, just to get those legs nice and loose. And our last one, we're gonna jump back up on our feet, okay? This time, I'm gonna interlock my fingers. I'm gonna pull away from the body, keeping my head up, and I'm rounding those back muscles forward. All of the hard work we've done on our upper body, just rounding those muscles forward. Make sure everything's nice and tight as you push forward. And shake it all out, loosen it all out, okay? Let all that tension out. Brilliant work, guys. Hope you've enjoyed that. Nice little cool down just to finish off, okay? Don't forget, we're gonna see you same time tomorrow at 10 a.m., so stay tuned. Also, don't forget to stay hydrated with that water and snack on a Freddy's Fife Banana. Enjoy. So kids, that's it for today. Well done on joining in and staying fit and healthy. Get your parents to tag us on Facebook or Instagram with your videos and photos of you joining in, and we'll pick 10 winners every day to get this Fice water bottle or inflatable banana. And don't forget to drink plenty of water after your workout and snack on a Freddy Fice Banana. See you next time.